I'm going to pull up something that uh, I have that kind of talks about the um, the uh, CMOS and what conditions are required. This, you guys, I think you're going to freak out. All right. So this is the Caribbean National Resources Institute Guidelines Series, and it talks about um, the cultivation of sea moss in the West Indies. And this is a brief biology of seaweed. Seaweeds belong to three main groups that can be distinguished by their dominant pigment. Sea moss species uh, such as Garcilaria and Euchinema are reds, and the other two groups are greens and browns. However, while the greens and browns are generally easy to recognize, the color of a species may be different from one site to another, varying from yellow to light brown to purple. Genetic variants of some of these um, sea moss species may not have the red pigment and are bright green. The shape of the plant and the type of branching is affected by the water conditions, which adds to the difficulty in, in identifying many of these seaweeds. Only reds are used in the Caribbean. Like all seaweeds, they have no true roots, leaves, or flowers. This is important, guys. Like all seaweeds, they have no true roots, leaves, or flowers. Plants consist of branch fronds attached by a holdfast to a substrate such as a rock or dead coral. The holdfast anchors the seaweed but does not absorb nutrients like the roots of flowering plants. Let me make that clear again. The holdfast anchors the seaweed but does not absorb nutrients like the roots of flowering plants. The entire seaweed plant absorbs nutrients that are dissolved in the surrounding seawater. This is an important feature in the farming of seaweeds as cutting from plants can be anchored to any substrate such as rope or nets as long as the water conditions are suitable. So this means that the sea moss can grow anywhere that it can attach itself to. As long as the water conditions are suitable, the, the sea moss will grow and um it will you know be uh, highly nutritious and and beneficial because the sea moss gets the nutrients from the water it cannot get the nutrients from the rocks 